Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are here in Hateno Village, dealing with the mayoral election. Finally, after just letting it sit on the back burner for close to 180 episodes. So, we've done a bunch of stuff with the current mayor, Reed. And now we're looking into his challenger, Cece. We have a quest from her sister, Sophie. To wit, it seems that Cece sneaks out of her house somewhere every night. Sophie has asked you to tell Cece. It sounds like she's alert to her surroundings while she's moving, so it'll be important to stay out of sight. Now I could wait until nightfall, you know, maybe by going to a fire and just sitting there until night, but I think I'm going to take the uh, hours that we have until then to try to find the light dragon again. Now since the last time I found the light dragon kind of over here near the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower it's been I'm not sure exactly but about 45 minutes of game time about that and it has a cycle going around Hyrule that takes it about two hours lots of estimating here but I figure that means it'll be in the northern section, probably around here. So if I go to perhaps the Typhlo Ruins, I should see it pretty close. So let's go to the Mayam Shrine above the Typhlo Ruins and see if we can spot the Light Dragon from there. I need to get another Talon, another Claw, and once I have that, I can come back here and take care of this business with Cece. So hopefully if I look to the west, it ought to be over there, hopefully. see it it'll be down pretty far from here maybe I should have gone down to Typhlo ruins and looked up instead of come here and look down I think it's been like 40 45 game minutes well, 45 real minutes in game since I last encountered it. So it ought to be around this general region, I think. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Should I go further west or should I go further east? Okay, let's go look to the east. See if I can spot it from there. Maybe it's gone further than I estimated. I know that it goes around the back side of Death Mountain. Around the north face of it. Is that it? No, that's just a cloud. Hmm. Uh. 
All right then. Butterfly. One of those summer wing butterflies. I want to catch it. There we go. All right. I'm going to guess that it's off to the west. I should stop seeing it. These dragons actually have gender. They're all she. I'm guessing that she's off to the west. And it's kind of cold over there, so let's put on the cold gear. And then she flies pretty close to the labyrinth. If I go there and look down over the edge, maybe I'll have a better chance of spotting her. Does not appear so. Game time is moving a lot faster than I remembered. It's already noon. It's past noon. I need to get back to Hateno before nightfall. Okay, there's the wind temple. She doesn't fly that at that altitude anymore. Okay, let's go down here. further along the path. I'm pretty sure I've spotted her from this... Ah-ha-ha! Uh, -ha. As I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I've spotted her from this uh, island before. Okay, I still have Tulin. Pretty cold up here, but I do have some cold protection items. So let's put on the uh, battery enhancer gear. Definitely going to be in the cold area when I catch up to her. Yep, here we are. 
And I'm going to need the uh, better cold resistance. Okay. I'm catching up. She's still flying at a pretty high altitude. Just not as high an altitude as before. I can't believe I actually stuck the landing. I got this. Don't land in the water, you! It's landing in the water. Of course it is. Pah! And about to go over a waterfall. Okay. I was about to say cork puzzle, but where's the extra rock? <laughs> Exactly is it going? Uh... Okay, I can do this. Oh, darn it, go away. Whoa! Thought that was gonna land on me. Okay, um, let's see. Come on, come on. Okay. And it's uh five thirty PM. So I should still have plenty of time get back to Hateno and figure out what the heck is going to happen there. Okay. That was kind of annoying. But I succeeded. That's all that matters right now. Now then, C. 
NPC's place should be. Um, where was it again? Right, over here. I must find it. Yeah. We meet again. How have you been? Worn anything good lately? The moment I met Cece at Hateno Village, I was reborn as a fashionista. That's why I must find whatever clothing Misko hid in the cave that runs through Walnut Mountain. Walnut Mountain. So I'll head to Hateno Village and set out from there. Well, mission accomplished. You're in Hateno Village. A bright future awaits me. I know it. I just have to go out and grab it by the frills. Walnut Mountain. Where is that? Starting from Hateno Village. Oh, there it is. The cave that runs through Walnut Mountain. Yeah, I must have found that one already. I remember going through a cave in Walnut Mountain and finding that spear doohickey that represents Misko's treasure. So yeah, I think I've already found it. And the sign says, Ventest Clothing Boutique. Hi Sophie, am I late? Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been some time since I troubled you to follow my sister to wherever she sneaks off to at night. No, it hasn't, it was just this morning. I was beginning to think you only pretended to accept my request as a cruel joke. I've tried following her several times myself, you know, but she's incredibly alert and spotted me immediately. Since I can't do it myself, and since the mayoral election is so close, I really need your help with this. No problem. There's no time to waste. Okay, she has her own side quest. Fashionable personnel only. Hmm. She has some stuff in there that might be for sale. Okay, I don't want to talk to her and get the other side quest yet. Alright, so it's about 7 p.m. in game time. <laughs> There we go. I jumped a little bit too sideways and not enough up. What is that? Oh, okay. It's an enemy camp thing poking out from behind the mountain. Alright, so it's 7.30. It'll probably be 9 at the earliest before she gets moving. Probably more like 10. And since I want to be stealthy... Sheikah gear. That weird horn might look kind of odd, but uh, it's attached to one of those Sheikah eight folded swords. And Sheikah bow also. Let's do this right, huh? Okay, so it's 8.30. Maybe I should go across the other way. 
so that I can actually see her front door. Okay, nine o'clock, and there goes Sophie back inside. What's with him? Okay, so getting close to nine thirty. Shouldn't be too much longer before she gets moving. Why is that guy just standing there? And now that guy over there by the tree. Now he's moving. Up, oh, there's our quarry. I was about to say there's our target, but we're not assassinating her. Even though we're dressed like we could be. See a blasted thing from here. Hmm. So she goes in here and does something weird, does she? I wonder if Reed's wife was correct in her worry that the two of them are having an affair. Building condemned, do not enter. Alone at last. <laughs> okay. I should be able to get in from there. As long as I get some good height for a s bit of paragliding. Okay, the front gate looked weird for a moment there. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. Ah, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. The shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so, without further ado, let us tuck in. Crunch, munch, crunch. Ah, so scrumptious. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign that they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. 
Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour, here in private I must admit that the simple unadorned things are best. There's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Okay, so, um... It's five in the morning. <laughs> I was about to say, okay, so, uh, Reed likes fashionable pumpkins, and Cece likes unfashionable carrots. <laughs> Fortunately, one thing you can depend upon with people is that they don't look up. So I can change clothes on top of this mushroom-shaped light without worrying. Hello there, always happy to see a traveler in Hateno Village. Are you one of those who came to see the new CC fashion line? No, I'm Link. I live here. I have a house and everything. What's wrong with you people? Not to brag, but the mind behind it is my own daughter, Cece. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at that clothing shop. I mean, boutique. Not sure what the difference is personally, but Cece always gets upset when I call it a clothing shop. Okay, so... Cece actually is a, you know, native of the village. Hmm. Okay, so this guy is being suspicious about something because he has a side quest. Well, I'll talk to him later. Did you learn anything? Why, yes, I did. Sorry about this. I know it's a tall order asking you to tell my sister, but I'm just so nervous about her. Really? The silo across the way? What? I thought she'd been hiding something really big. Is that really all there is to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style, and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hateno Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever, but the truth is she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. Iron Shrooms. My sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same things, you know. I can't understand why the two of them don't just work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Yeah, they Reed wants to make fashionable pumpkins, and Cece likes unfashionable carrots, which is the exact opposite of what you'd expect considering the source of their disagreement and all. Okay. There's no time to waste. Oh, you again. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... If it should go without saying, then uh, how about I just not say it? A CZ voter, but of course. That settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoo in for the next mayor, or so one would think. Yet there are still stragglers in this village. Yet there are stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporters. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. Although, Sophie and I must mind the shop, where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? Yeah, sure. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Hylian shrooms. A common mushroom around the trees. I would think she would want an uncommon mushroom. But, whatever. These mushrooms are for the village reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. 
This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Team Cece or Team Reed? Cece asks you to give Reed voters some mushrooms to open their eyes to new ways of thinking. According to her, Reed voters are identifiable by their unfashionable clothing. Travelers, kids, the candidates' families, and temporary residents like Sheikah researchers don't get mushrooms. That leaves eight villagers not dressed in Cece brand clothes. Hmm. So then, what if I give them to eight people who are dressed in CC brand clothes? I'm relieved to hear that my sister isn't up to anything sinister. Thanks very much for looking into it. It's too bad Reed and my sister refuse to be honest with each other. If they just talked it out, I think they'd see how much they have in common. Okay, I can't give her anything. Okay, what happens if I talk to her? Are you another traveler here to see Cece? Our village gets more famous all the time. Sorry, I'm on my way to meet someone. If you need a tour guide, you'll have to ask someone else. Okay, no, I can't give them to her. And that kid, I can't give them to her, apparently. Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on a CC brand outfit today. Get with the times and put on some CC brand clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? Walk around the village looking like that if you want, but don't blame me when CC roasts your fashion sense. CC set up her own CC brand line. It proves what a fantastically avant garde, charismatic designer she is. Why, CC single handedly set the tone for Hateno Village's whole look. CC shop is to the left of the village entrance. This is the stylish shop with the mushroom clothing decoration. If you're feeling plain, shabby, or drab, CC has the cure. Go ask her to coordinate your look today. Okay. So I really can't give them to any of those guys. They've been putting these strange decorations all over the village. Uh, sorry about that. Are you a visitor here, a tourist? Uh, that's just really annoying. I mean, I purchased a house back in Breath of the Wild and decorated it, and then apparently between the two games, I brought Zelda here to live with me. You're in Hateno, a village known for living off the land. For as long as anyone can remember, we've tilled the soil and let nature be our guide in life. Now, though, everything's getting so glitzy as some folks try to drum up more tourism business. Mind you, we were all happy to see Cece return to the village after she'd been away for so long. Some folks, like my daughter Prima, started wearing that flashy Cece brand stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law Wharton. We prefer the simple life, the way we've always lived it. But I don't mean to talk your ear off. By all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. Hmm? Is there something you need from me, Mr. Traveler? Have a Hylian shroom. Huh? You say this is from Cece? Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know. I'm happy to vote for whoever the mayor... I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor if they'll fix up the village real nice. Okay. So, who else? Okay, children, no. Okay, she has a hat on, so not her either. He has a hat on, so not him either. Fresh milk, I can buy that for three acorns now. Hylian rice. 
Uh, I need to bant the wheat to make a pizza, don't I? So there's seven more people somewhere. Not him. Could they possibly be inside? Well, whoever lives here, probably not. Look at all the those mushroom decorations. the old guy who I already gave a mushroom to? Oh, here's someone. Huh? Do you need something for me? Um, have a Hylian shroom? What's this? Something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking up the CC brand stuff, but it's never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. It's mighty nice of you. Yeah, I would think that, you know, if you're working a farm, you'd be more concerned with, you know, clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. Just goats here. Crickets? Or a cricket. Okay, that person doesn't have any CC stuff on. I can't get up there. Well, that's irritating. She does. Uh, this is ridiculous. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. Probably my wife Prima you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fad dies down. I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the end? Um, have a mushroom? Ooh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them, too. Yeah, that CC is all right in my book. And I'm not the only one. Coin from the farm on the hill says the same thing. So that's, what, three people now? Do I have any wheat? Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, that's annoying. I have 30 acorns. I could get 10 more things of milk. Well, no matter. Let's just keep looking for people who 
aren't wearing mushroom hats. Coming back here. Oh, a squirrel. Squirrels only drop one acorn. That's kind of chintzy. Let's see, anyone in here? No. But I don't see lots of mushroom themed stuff. So if I were to find someone in here, I could probably give them a mushroom. She has a hat on, so not her. <laughs> Looks like this fella has a hat on also, so not him. Where was the farm again? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Cheese shop. The cows seem happy. Hi, Dance. Hmm, you got something for me? Uh, have a mushroom. Is this from Cece? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. But me, my daughter Koyan, and old man Tok don't care much about clothes. What use is fashion in the field, right? Oh. I really can't thank you enough for helping me make my special cow feed. Why don't you bring me three more acorns? There'd be another bottle of fresh milk in it for you. And that offer is not open to just anyone, you understand. Don't go telling tales now. Uh, sure, acorns. As long as I'm here. Ooh. That's three acorns, sure enough. Here you go. Our special brand fresh milk. Thanks, Wanderer. Any old time you want to bring me more some acorns, I'd appreciate it. Okay. So, four more people. That should include Koyan, I believe. And she ought to be inside. Okay. Have a Hylian shroom. Ah. Hmm, from Cece, huh? Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Ah. If you're here for Tano cheese, pick out whichever block you like from the ones lined up here. And she buys things. Let's trade. Ah. Bottle of fresh milk for one chunk of cheese? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. So that's, um, wait a second, was there someone else in here? No. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to ban the wheat. Hylian rice doesn't do it. I mean, maybe I could substitute? Maybe I should try that. A pizza with a rice flour crust. Doesn't sound too bad, actually. Okay, so... The other member of the family is the old man who walks the cuckoos up to the, uh... Research lab. Point in walking up there.
so let's see that's um, I believe five people so far ah. and you what do you want with an old man like me have a mushroom you say this is from Cece? Well, that's generous of her, thanks. What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately Cece's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. It makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I turn. My family and all my, f and all my friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still in all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, that's six people so far, so there's two more. See anyone down there? And she said, No kids or travelers or members of Reed's family. Okay, let's see. So that guy down. Oh, wait, there's someone with him. Oh, a uh, little girl, it looks like. What? No, I didn't snatch any tomatoes. Gotta swallow the evidence quick. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Aster, your family. You're curious about my Hylian tomatoes? They're my prized crop. I put a lot of love into growing those. They're in season now, so help yourself to a few down at the general store. Okay. I thought maybe she would be someone... But no. She's a little kid. And I, they said no little kids. Sigh. Look, it doesn't matter how handsome you are or how many times you swing by to chat, I'm not giving you any more eggs. Just forget me. Um. Sorry, what? I just want to give you a mushroom. Uh, whatever, how could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. Okay, it's forgotten. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going for there. Way to kill the mood. Did you still need something? Have a mushroom. You brought this from CC? Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own, too. I just like them, okay? But that's when they're food. When you make them fashion, you lose me. It wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. The farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? Okay, now I'm starting to vaguely remember the conversation she's alluding to. Killing the mood. This is not going well. Is it because of that CC hat you're wearing? Be right there, hang on just a sec. Oh, I was sure you were Mayor Reed coming to talk for a bit. Did all this fashion business bring you to town too? Before, folks came to Hatano Village for the veggies, but now they show up for that gaudy get-up CC makes. So which are you after? Uh, the veggies. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Hatano is its veggies after all. I focus on growing pumpkins myself, but there's a f other fields and a couple farms up the hill, too. And I suppose nowadays you got those weird sculptures to gawk at, too. Point is, there's plenty to check out around our village if you take the time to look. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie. But I haven't had much luck so far. Still, if I quit too soon, I'll be a poor excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I now? <laughs> Nothing suspicious yet. Okay, so this is a little kid. Mm. I was hoping maybe there would be an adult guard. Halt and identify yourself, suspicious guy. I'm not suspicious. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. 
Uh, how did it go again? You've come to Hateno Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at the forefront of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known. Too bad he's not at Lookout Landing. Too bad he's still at Lookout Landing. Okay, so there's... Someone else. Just one left. Zelda. Miss Zelda still isn't back. Is it because she's disappointed in me? Oh, ah? Uh? Did you have business in Miss Zelda's house too, mister? Um, it's my house. Also. <laughs> you know she's not back home yet, right? Right around the time of the upheaval, Miss Zelda just stopped coming home. She always used to say see you later whenever she left the village, but not that time. Okay, she's not wearing a hat. Good day. You ought to be my guest, and, and you ought to be my guest, and instead I end up asking you for favors. Sorry about that, but you were a huge help. Thank you. If only that man could be more forthright. He takes everything so seriously that he doesn't know how to open up. No one knows him like me, so it's up to me to give him my support. Okay, that's Reed's wife. So yeah, I can't give her a mushroom. Uh, there's just one person left, and I don't know where they are. Is anyone living here? What the? Why did I suddenly start crouching? Hmm. Looks like there might be someone here. But, uh, they're not in at the moment. Hmm. This house looks a bit more, um, Spartan. Be. More to the point, where could they be? He's wearing a hat. He's a kid. Neither of them. Mm, no one in here. That's the old man who I spoke to at the beginning, isn't it? like someone new. You look like a man who gets around. Wish I wasn't so tied down like I am. On days like this, my work to tend the field near the school hurts my lower back so. It makes the road home feel longer than it did coming in. It's tough work, no mistake, but you know what keeps me at it on the hard days? Knowing that way, way down the line, what I do today is going to keep someone fed. Did you have something to say? Um, have a mushroom? A gift from Cece? Thanks for that. The world of fashion moves too fast for us old folks, but I'm in favor of any mayor who can make sure this village stays a place where the younger folk are happy to live. Okay, got all those done. 
You finished giving the eight reed supporters Hylian shrooms, so it's time to report back to Cece. I don't think it's really going to change their votes. Bring on the election. Oh, have you handed them out already? Yeah, it only took me all day. Oh ho, we've delivered all my little gifts, I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those Reed voters see the light. Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. Another mushroom. Thank you. It's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. As you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election coming up. I believe I remember Sophie saying not long ago that the preparations for the mayoral election were complete. So your timing is excellent. Speak to Sophie about next steps. Hmm. Um. Jeez, get right in my way, why don't you? I wonder, what if I talk to Reed? Does he have a side quest? Nope, looks like I've already... Either... I already completed it. What with that whole cheese thing. Or... I, you know, made my choice. The village mayor election has gotten closer than I'm comfortable with. But this Ateno cheese is the perfect new signature food for the village. With this on my side, I can't lose. Thanks for helping me out so much with everything, really. Well. I think actually this is a good place to stop. It's not quite one hour, but uh, close enough. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Fairly productive episode, I think. Doing a bunch of stuff for CC and also finding the second uh, Light Dragon's Claw that I needed. So, yeah, it's a good place to stop. In the next episode, uh, I suppose we'll finish up this business. And uh, once we're done with this business, I intend to deal with the trouble down in Lurland Village. That is my general plan. We'll see how much of it I get to in the next episode. Later.